Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth video of this uh, Compose series and in this video we will talk about text field. In the legacy Android UI toolkit you would use an edit text to show the input field to the user. The composable function counterpart is called a text field. We will make our first text field inside my text field function composable function right here and uh, let's go ahead and start so at first i will write the code and i promise to uh, explain everything so don't uh, worry just follow along with me at first so we need a text uh, value and this will represent the state the text inside the text field and we will use remember function this remember composable function is used to save the state because in compose we have what is called recomposition or redrawing of the the ui so if we don't use remember the text that the user types in inside the text field will get lost and it will be uh, reset so inside this function you will pass the state and we can use the function mutable state of and the value it is just an empty string so now we have the text value we can use the text field composable right here let's go ahead and use it and we have a couple of attributes the first attribute will be value this is the value from where the field or the text field will get its value since we have this uh, variable here we can use text value dot value so this is the state of the text field also we have one more method it's called on value change so this will be called when the user start typing on the text field when the user start typing on the text field this method will be called so it will have the it or it have the string that the user types it and we can save it in our state variable too by using text value equal to it also we can have label right here but we really don't uh, need it so I'll just leave it uh, like uh, this this seems a lot of code but it will make sense in a minute because for the text field to work proper probably we need to provide the value that don't change during the recomposition in other words the state and this this is why we use mutable state of we wrap it inside an empty string this is the empty string and this is represent the default uh, value and this is called the state uh, holder and also this mutable state is wrapped inside the remember function which is compose way of telling the recomposer that this value should be persisted through recomposition and if we don't use remember every time you change the state it will be lost and will be set to the default value which is an empty uh, string uh, next we connected the value of the text uh, value holder to the text field and within a value change callback we change the internal value of the state holder so let's go ahead and run the application to see the result in my uh, emulator right here so what is going to happen now that every time the user taps on the keyboard button the internal state will change this will trigger recomposition and redrawing of the text field with a new text that's all going to happen really fast and you won't be able to to uh, notice any uh, difference so i can type here you can type hello so every time i type the state will be saved inside this uh, text value using the on value uh, change and uh, this is wraps up the video uh, thanks for watching there is also 
another variation of this text field you can play with it called uh, outlined text field and it is just a stylish way of using uh, text field you can use it for emails provide uh, icons and so on you can play with it and i will leave that for you to explore thanks for watching have a nice day